Hello everyone. Today we will see how we can, you know, import Excel data to MySQL database using PHP Excel. So for that, I'll be going to download PHP Excel from the site. I'm I'll be providing the link. You can also download it from here. After that, I'm going to create one Excel file. Now you can see I have written five like entries i'm going to start let me just show you the steps firstly i'm going to create a database connection after that i'm going to create form for file upload that where from where i'm going to upload my excel file after that i'm going to include my php excel for fetching my data from excel and then inserting that into my database Let's just start here with my first step that is database connection. So I have already created a connection with database that is ERP test and created a database file. And I am just moving to my second step that is creating a form with method post. And I'm going to define an input that is type file and name upload file class form control then i'm going to give input type submit name submit class you can say a button like button primary and after that action i'm going to give is file upload dot php let me just define form group with the class form group with row and i want to give a label so for that i write class call md3 and select file another div that i'm going to create is call md8 in which my input type file will be there i am also including my submit button in div form form group so just copy that and paste it after that give it an h4 that is excel upload tutorial and then a char so let's see how it will look in chrome so there you can see it's looking one thing i need to do for a form to like upload my file is n type that is multi-part form data and now i'm going to create my file that is file upload.php I'm going to include the database file in that and now after that I'll be fetching my upload file that is file with the name that is upload file and I'm just going to show that so in browser I'm going to choose the file and I'm submitting it so name is you can see it's visible so next is I'm going to include my PHP Excel files into this so let's start it so I just need to change it to temporary name of the file after that I'm going to require a PHP Excel slash classes that's the folder name and after that i need that is php excel dot php and one more file that i need that is required once that is php excel slash classes slash i of php excel slash io factory PHP now I need to load my Excel file to the PHP like Excel so for that we have one function for that I'm just taking it into like object Excel then PHP Excel underscore IO factory 
column then load and the file name i'm going to pass in that so this will load my excel file into php excel so now we can fetch the data next thing we need to do is to like fetch every row of the excel file so for that we need uh, like we use one function that is get worksheet iterator so for that we will be using for each an object excel get worksheet iterator function and as you know we are fetching you know every row in this after that i want the highest row so for that also we have one function so i am just taking it into a variable highest row then i am fetching like from worksheet get highest row and i am just printing that look i get 5 as in like rows highest rows i have shown you in the starting of the video that we have 5 rows so now let me write a for each no if not for each for loop in which i am going to get every like entry of a row like every column should i say for every row so for that i am going to write four and row starting from zero to my highest row and i have two columns that is one is name and another one is email so i'm going to take that into a variable name after that worksheet for that fetching we have one function that is get cell by column and row so first one i'm going to pass is zero column and zero row so this will like my first value will be fetched and another one is get value so this will return the value second one is the my first column in which my email id is there so i am taking it into a variable email and i'm just printing that let me check it in the browser firstly i have a look at the excel file you can see i have five rows and if i'll refresh my browser there you can see i have four so i just need to change something but yeah there you can see i got my zero column and my first column let me just open my database that is php my admin and let me just open erp test that is my database with user table and i am going to get the insert query just remove extra things and take this query and now in my file I just removing the print one and I'm going to make if condition if email is not blank then insert query and I just need to put equals to because there are four values I'm getting I need five so after that I'm passing the variable to my insert query that is first one is name and second one is email after that i'm calling my mysql i query that will insert into my database at last i'm passing the header value that is location at index.php that will you know after inserting will get back to my page so let me refresh my browser now let me see in the my database like i have right now 
six entries let me browse it and now i have 11 so five entries is inserted that is from first second third so from my excel file into my mysql database data is inserted i hope you really like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you